Welcome friends, in this lecture we're gonna create some sound effects and we're also gonna create the player spawn area so that we don't get insta-killed when a meteor or an asteroid is exactly above us when we respawn. This is going to be short and sweet, so let's get started. Okay, we have the live system working, so the player can die and the player will also respawn. So that is all good, but the problem is if we die and there is a meteor right on top of us, we die again immediately, which is something we don't want. So we're gonna create something called the player spawn area to fix that. Okay, that is going to be a new scene and we're actually gonna create it underneath the player spawn position because why not? So let's create a new scene here and this is going to be an area 2D and we're gonna call this player spawn area save this as a new scene and we're going to go back into the games scene here and instance this underneath the player spawn position okay let's go back we want to create a collision shape here and this collision shape will be a circle and we're going to make this about that big maybe uh, yeah that's fine so if we're going to check this area and if this area is empty we're going to spawn the player. And if there is an asteroid passing through, we're not going to spawn the player until all the asteroids are outside of this area. Okay, so simple enough. We want to create a script inside of here. And we're going to call this player spawn area.gd. And this will be a very short script. We want to create a variable here called is empty. And this will be a boolean. And this will return. We're going to create the get here. This will return, uh, well, first I should, you know, explain to you area 2D's functions. So we have a function here called has overlapping areas. This is the area 2D documentation, by the way. So area 2D has has overlapping areas and has overlapping bodies. So this will return true if there is bodies inside of the area. And this will return true if there is Sorry, there's areas. The first one is for areas. The second one is for bodies. So if there are bodies inside of the area, this will return true. If there are areas inside of the area, this will return true. If not, they will return false. So we can take advantage of this and say, if not has overlapping areas, and if not has overlapping bodies, that means that this area is basically empty. So. We're gonna return the result of this, you know, uh, logic here, which is going to be true if no areas are overlapping and no bodies are overlapping. If either are true, this won't work. So, okay, this will be it for this script. And we're gonna go back inside the game script and we can actually go to reference for this, maybe. Spawn area. And this will be player spawn area and we also need to create a new physics layer for this let's say spawn area player spawn area and let's go to the player spawn area and put this in the correct collision layer and this will look for well it's going to look for the asteroids mainly because that's what we care about so now inside of the game if there is an asteroid, for example, here, the is empty will return false. If there's no asteroids, is empty will return true. So now we just need to use that when we respawn the player. So when the lives go down to zero, we don't need to care because the game's over. But if not, we are going to first wait for a second and then we're going to say while player spawn position is empty while this is not true we want to wait let's see if i did this correctly so while the player spawn position is not empty let's wait for a small amount so this will basically check if the player spawn position is empty or not if it's not wait for 0.1 seconds, check again, wait, check again, wait until it is empty. So only when it's empty, we're going to respawn the player. 
Okay, I think this should be enough to make this work. So, okay, let's get a good example. Uh, okay, that seems okay. So I'm gonna die to this guy. Whoop, whoop, okay, we have an error. Uh, I probably made a typo or something like that. Player spawn position, let's take a look at it. Oh, I'm using the wrong one. If you spotted that, good eye, I didn't. Okay, this needs to be a player spawn area, right? That's what I called it, player spawn area. Yeah, okay, so let's try this again. Oh man, we had a good, you know. Okay, this is even better. Okay, let's try this. So that's gonna kill me. And now I'm not respawning, as you can see. But as soon as, you know, they get outside of the area, the asteroids, I spawn. So this basically fixes our issue. I'm gonna sh try to demonstrate this again. So meet asteroid inside of the area. We don't spawn, we don't spawn, we don't respawn as soon as they go out. Great, so that fixes, you know, uh, that issue. So we won't get, you know, asteroids killing us immediately on respawn anymore. That's great. The other thing I want to do in this video is adding some sound effects. So the first one is going to be the laser sound effect, which I think can be on the player. Well, let's add it to the game. Let's create an audio stream player. And this is going to be the laser sound. Uh, and we're gonna use the SFX laser one this let's take a listen okay that's that sounds good and inside of our script here we can we know when player shoots a laser it is right here we can just do you know laser sound play so this will take care of that now we're playing laser sound when we shoot what else do we need? We want the asteroid, you know, hit sound. So let's create another uh, audio stream player for that. Let's call this asteroid hit sound. And this will be the hit.wave. And we'll do this, you know, let's see. We'll do this when the asteroid explodes. So we'll say asteroid hit sound play. So when we hit an asteroid, you know, there's a hit sound, you know, it's not the best sound effect, but it gets the job done in this case. And I think finally I want to have a sound for when the player dies, basically. Player die sound, let's say. And this will be the explode.wave. And we're gonna call this when the player dies, which we also know when that happens, it's here. Player uh, die sound dot play. Now when the player dies, we're gonna get a cool sound effect. Great. Okay. I think those are all the sound effects that I want to add. And at this point, the game is complete. The only thing missing is the background visuals and yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so we can actually turn off the visible collision shapes so that we see the game a little bit better now. And I'm gonna leave the visuals to the next video actually. So thank you very much for watching this one. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you want to learn more, if you want to learn Godot and make games, I have a course. So check the link in the description for that or the link in this video. In this one, we created the sound effects and the player spawn area so that we don't, you know, get insta killed. And I think in the next one, we're going to create the visuals and call the game complete. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.